Well, it's actually been pretty amazing to see Donald Trump in court as he defends himself from this totally bogus case. They're trying to say that Donald Trump is not the man who we've known for decades. It is ludicrous. The woman to his right, though, I'm sure you already noticed, that's Alina Haba, uh, his attorney, legal spokeswoman, and general counsel for Save America PAC. Uh, I am told on very good authority. Now, we only have cameras in the courtroom for the very start. We don't actually hear the arguments, but her opening statement was said to really put the prosecution back on its feet and uh, it might have been an uh-oh moment for them. I do know that outside the courtroom, we can all look and watch her speak and it's pretty amazing. Take a look. What we are witnessing is election interference of somebody who is leading in the polls the more they hit him. So keep hitting him because he's going to keep fighting. At the end of the day, we have a judge that has told us that Mar-a-Lago is worth $18 million. He has failed to acknowledge what the appellate division has said, and we will continue to fight in hopes that there is some level of law and order in this country at this point. Although my faith in the system is weary, I do have faith in Donald Trump. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. Like a movie. Uh, I mean, just so powerful. Alina Haba joins us now. Alina, welcome. Thank you for being here. How's it going? Uh, are you, Very how are well. you feeling? Very good. Very good. We had a strong uh, day four. We've had a strong week. Despite the the situation that we've been put in, um, in you know, this court, which we strongly believe we shouldn't have been in, uh, we've been fighting hard. And I got to tell you, their key witness, you know, came up. He, he said, frankly, everything I wanted him to say. I, I heard it perfectly and I looked over and I think that we're, we're doing very well and it's not going to go so well for Letitia James because at the end of the day, the Trump organization did nothing wrong and they're using a consumer fraud statute inappropriately against a private business. It's not supposed to happen and it's a very scary precedent for New Yorkers. I'll tell you that, Greg. All right. So, all right. You're also, I guess it's in the hands of this judge yeah. who, in my opinion, appears literally appears to be rather goofy. I think we have him smiling and grinning and doing weird stuff and saying very strange things over the years. It's in his hands, right, in a way. And uh, I mean, like some people say this case has already been decided but in his head. We've seen the ruling. How do you what do you what do you do about that? Well, we haven't just seen the ruling in his head. We've seen the ruling before we stepped into court. And while this trial is, you know, going to be lengthy and waste of taxpayer dollars, we literally see that this judge has made the decision in summary judgment that the Trump organization is liable, according to him, and according to him, Mar-a-Lago is worth 18 million, which is the tax assessed value, not the market value. But it doesn't matter. His mind was made up that the number, which was frankly far less than what Mar-a-Lago is worth, which is on the statement of financial condition, didn't match. So we're going to appeal. We announced that today. That's breaking news for you, Mr. Mr. Kelly. <laughs> we're going to appeal it tomorrow, uh, that decision, and, and we'll be filing our papers. You'll appeal the decision tomorrow, but the case isn't over yet, right? You're going to appeal already. We're going to appeal it, and we're going to ask for a stay. All right. Excellent. Wow. Uh, and what about this? What about filing something? I don't know, a complaint to the bar committee, uh, whatever. But Letitia James, here she is. We have stone cold proof of her lies. Take a look. The president of the United States has complained that I'm engaging in some sort of political witch hunt, that I've got some personal vendetta against him, that I campaigned against him. That is not true. This illegitimate president who sits in the White House. That president, because he's not my president, he's an illegitimate president. His days are numbered. His days are numbered. We've got to get ready to mobilize. And we've got to get ready to agitate and irritate. It goes on like this and on and on and on. She said this when she was an attorney, but not yet attorney general. This seems to be highly uh, inappropriate, highly something. What can you do with this kind of material? Well, I, you know, I'm not going to tell you what we can do with it, but I can tell you that we see it and that we'll handle it. But I will also say you've got to remember that that footage that you're showing on that screen was before she was in office, before she knew anything about the Trump organization. And she has used the Trump name to leverage her, frankly, not successfully, leverage her 
uh, her own job and try and run for governor fail, and now is trying to go through this trial is going to fail, because if we don't win in this court, we will win in the appellate division. I'm not concerned, because the facts are the facts, but we have we are witnessing corruption at its best right now in this country. We have people that are looking at justice systems as broken. We have DOJs that are broken. We have people that are getting up. Merrick Garland is saying that he can't even say whether he spoke to Biden. I mean, I've never heard anything more absurd. That's who he works for. This is what our country is right now, Greg. And I know you hit it hard, and, and I'm so glad you played that, because that's footage that we really haven't shown yet. And it's, it's a big deal. The attorney general is an extension of the government. The government is not supposed to be campaigning against somebody and using them to leverage their own political career. And if you look at her, her, what she's doing right now on Twitter and all of that, it's very obvious. She thinks this is good for her brand. Sorry to tell you, it's not going well. No, it's not good for um, it's not good for the country. It's not, not good, good for, for any of us. It's not good for the country, especially the state of New York. It's horrific. It really is. Well, yeah. Alina Haba, uh, so glad. I think the president is quite fortunate to have you by his side. Please keep us posted, and thank you very much. You can follow Alina at Alina Haba, H-A-B-B-A, at Alina Haba on Twitter to be continued. And thank you. We'll be right back.